Hello, my name is Brad Dixon, and I've been a lighting designer for a number of years, working with a variety of light sources on camera, including LED lights. I am also the co-creator of the HS Scope, designed to assist in the calibration of LED lights to meet the needs of the camera based on the camera's chroma signal. Many lighting metrics exist to measure light. However, for me, these measurements didn't indicate a light's performance on the specific camera I was using, nor did they indicate the spectral adjustments needed to meet the needs of the camera. Color meter readings are based on the meter's sensor, not the image sensor of the camera. So we have many different lighting metrics to measure the color quality of a light source. But even with all of these readings, do they indicate your camera's response to these sources or how to adjust multiple light sources to appear harmonious so your camera sees them identical? How do slight differences between light sources impact the look on camera? What spectral values do I need to alter for different cameras? Camera sensors differ, as do LEDs. Ideally, we want to achieve a match between these two variables to create harmony on camera. That is why I co-created the HS Scope. It displays the camera's electronic chroma signal, providing a reference guide. Using this reference, you can adjust your LED lights to meet the needs of the camera to reproduce colors accurately. In this example, we have the Sony Venice preset to 3200 degrees Kelvin. We light the DSC chart with the 3200 degree Kelvin tungsten light source. We see the camera's chroma response in the HS scope at the bottom right. We then store the peaks and valleys of this chroma response as a white reference line. In real time on the HS scope, we are showing an LED set to the manufacturer's 3200 CCT setting being calibrated to match the chroma response of a 3200K tungsten source on a Sony Venice. In less than 30 seconds, we have an LED that the Sony Venice gives a color response as it did to an actual tungsten source. We dim the LED fixture, and while the luminance signal may show a linear dimming curve, the chroma signal shows the point at which the colors shift. These chroma shifts varies between different LED fixtures. We use a DSC chart as their color chips are measured to be consistent and correspond to the established values of the chroma signal. The camera converts light into a readable electronic signal. That's the reason for my methodology to use the camera's chroma signal as my guide to evaluate and calibrate lighting for the camera. I've used this method for decades with a wide range of light sources on a wide range of cameras. I co-created the HS scope to simplify the process by displaying the chroma signal in a horizontal spectral format along with the vector points displayed along the bottom of the scope. In my calibration method, I read the chroma output from the camera of a reference light source as it lights a DSC chart used as the color reference source. Then we store the resulting chroma signal in the HS scope as a white reference line. We can compare our reference source chroma results to other lights. In this example, frame 1 is the chroma response of the Sony Venice preset to 3200K with a tungsten 3200K source lighting the DSC chart. We store the peaks and values of that chroma signal as a white reference line. Frame 2 shows the white reference line layered over the chroma signal generated by an LED source lighting the chart. The LED is set to the manufacturer's 3200 CCT preset. Frame 3 shows the results as we calibrated the separate LEDs in the fixture by adjusting their intensity values until they match the original tungsten response as displayed in the white reference line. We can see exactly which vector points need to be adjusted. Once we get a match, the camera will re reproduce colors as the original tungsten source did. We can also use another camera, such as a webcam, to emulate the chroma response of any camera we stored as a file in the HS scope. 
Frame 1 shows we flatten the original webcam's chroma response. Frame 2, we select a camera chroma response from a file originally captured from an actual camera. Frame 3 now has the webcam emulating the selected camera so we can calibrate and evaluate lights as to how they would respond on the selected camera without the need for the original camera being the source. This means we could use a tablet's webcam to take a reading based on a camera file we stored originally from an actual camera. In this example, we are emulating the Arri Alexa Mini LF. This emulation only occurs within the HS scope and does not alter values in the other scopes or the picture image. We are not turning a webcam into an Arri Alexa Mini LF. We are just emulating the Alexa Mini LF chroma response using the webcam within the HS scope. In this example, we can see how LED sources set to the LED manufacturer's preset can alter the on-camera look of skin tones. With the same camera in frame one, we see skin tones lit by a tungsten source, and in frame two, we see the LED manufacturer's preset value lighting the same skin tones. We see the LED has shifted the skin tones towards red, which is not the look the camera was chosen for. The chroma signal indicates the skin tone shift, but other lighting measurements would not show this on-camera impact caused by the LED light. Many manufacturers claim their LED fixtures do not shift when dimmed, yet how many have actually tested their claims on camera? In this example, the chroma signal shows exactly at which point of dimming the chroma shift occurs on camera. This impacts the entire color range of the chroma signal making a significant change to the camera's ability to render those colors accurately at the LED's full intensity value compared to their dimmed value. We compared color meter readings versus the chroma signal shown on the HS scope. Image 1 is the HS scope reading from a tungsten 3200K source lighting a DSC chart on a Sony Venice. Image 2 is the chart lit with an LED using only our color meter as our guide to establish a non-camera match to the original 3200K tungsten source. Image 2 shows we are close with a 2970 CCT reading on the color meter. Image 3 we continued further and adjusted until the color meter showed a 3196 CCT reading. In both cases, the color meter readings were close in numbers only but they were far off from the original, actual tungsten 3200K chroma response. These differences would be seen on camera in color reproduction. In this example, we used an HMI as our reference light source on the Sony Venice. Then we adjusted the LED to match the HMI chroma response using the HS scope reference line. We matched as close as possible to the HMI. Ironically, during our calibration, we also used the TM3018 measurements on the color meter to guide us. If we followed the TM3018 measurements, we would have not even come this close as it indicated our green values were off the TM3018 scale, yet they were exactly the value needed for the Sony Venice to closely match the reference HMI source. We can also see if various LED combinations help obtain accurate color rendition on camera. With the chroma signal, we see exactly the vector points that are inaccurate based on the LED combination used. As manufacturers extend the range of LED colors in a fixture, we can see in the chroma signal if their impact is beneficial on getting accurate color rendition on camera. Many LED fixture manufacturers claim they can match gel colors. Our tests show they may make a visual match to the eye, but they are not a match on camera all the time. We can also see the differences between manufacturers' gel presets by using the chroma signal. In the left image is a tungsten source with an R52 gel on it. The right image is the white reference line of the R52 chroma signal compared to the LED claimed R52 value. Now we could adjust the LED using the HS scope reference line to match all LEDs to get them harmonious in this color of gel. By using the chroma signal, it allows us to calibrate colors to match on camera. 
We can also evaluate if the colors have shifted over time by comparing the stored reference line to the fixture's color output over time. The HS Scope is exclusive to the 4K and 8K Scope software package available from Drastic Technologies on their website, drastic.tv.